Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and welcome to show and tell number 123. Woo! It is like two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm already hitting the coffee again. If you haven't been to Joann's recently or joanns.com. I didn't see the Bink Says My Spirit Animal one until later on. I have some things to share with you guys. I do not have a single finished object except for cards. I think I only brought down one whip, but there's still so much to show with show you guys and my basket of randomness here. First off, uh, Tuesday, a video should have gone live discussing Rose's wishes for wings. October is the time to turn in our dishcloths. So reminder on that, I did do a dishcloth tutorial. I never got around to the second one, unfortunately. Life. Life. <laughs> uh, I kind of feel like the uh, crazy orange guy, crazy hair orange guy from Ancient Aliens. <laughs> Uh, yes, time to turn in our Wishes for Wings dish claws. Please don't forget, I still need to get my box, excuse me, boxed up and ready to go. Also, with these little partial skeins of yarn we have left over, Classy Kim is doing a charity drive for mug rugs and coasters and little things to put in gift baskets for people who are in the process of recovering from mastectomies, breast cancer, surgeries, uh, chemotherapy, the, a feel-good package to just be reminded you're loved and cared for and people are thinking about you. So wonderful opportunity right there to use up the partial skeins from all the dishcloths we've been making for Rose. Let it, let's share the love with Kim's Drive for the mug rugs and the coasters in particular. Uh, her, vid uh, her video discussing what she wants will be linked in the description box of the video from Tuesday. And I think I'm going to call that something like charity updates or something. I literally just filmed it five seconds before starting this video. We are doing a two for day because doing uh, a second day of filming has not worked out in the last couple of weeks. It took me a week to... Like I keep saying... All right, finished objects. So I did get the last of my Halloween cards made. Finished, stamped, decorated. We're all ready to go here. Uh, I've got, I think it's like eight of these. One of the previous one. There's a dozen of these. This was a single sheet and I just cut it into a, it's a, it's a very simple card and just put, these are the yellow gemstones that were in my Q3 update where I said they're they're the little strippy things that's what they are and I think there's like seven or eight of these and that was the one that I just have one of so done 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 I have a dozen Christmas cards started I have a feeling there'll be people getting like New Year's cards All my paper crafting time will be filming, editing, updating, uploading, all that stuff. All right, before we get on to my big whip here, which I'm going to try to not knock things over. It's still a whip. It's still a whip. Oh, I did bring another whip down. So I'm going to leave that here. All right. The baskets of other things are very full. So I told you guys I did win one of the prizes from one of the shops at the Charlotte area yarn crawl. I don't think they have a YouTube channel. They do have a Facebook group and they're on Instagram and everything else. But cheers to you is who I won mine from. Super excited. So I couldn't just like go in and collect my prize package. I did have to buy like at least a cursory ball of yarn. So I did. And this is what I got. This is a sport weight, I believe. Yes. 300 yards, 100 grams, 
Sport Weight, 100% Super Wash Shaniko, 100% U.S. Raised and North Carolina Milled, Merino and Rambouillet Wool, Hand Wash, Light Colors, blah, blah, blah. And this is Art Festival. Is that not beautiful? So I'm thinking I'm going to pair this with like a cream or a maybe speckled yarn and do a shawl because... By the way, I don't know if you're going to come back, but I know you said you found my tutorial, but I did want to say a quick hello to Avonlea. <laughs> Speaking about shawls being my specialty. She's a very young crocheter and y'all, she is like dove into like the viral shawl, the one that gives so many of us fits when we start trying to do it. All right. So what did I actually get in my prize package? Well, ironically, I got one of the Southern Comfort Fiber Market t-shirts, which is funny because I forgot to go back and buy a tote bag or a shirt when I left. So I guess I'll be wearing this probably the next couple weeks while I'm doing my walk. Because uh, t-shirt. We're in that weird zone where it's kind of hard to tell if we're doing um, t-shirts or jackets or... I've been doing a lot of lightweight long sleeves where I can roll the sleeves up. All right, I'm gonna actually open this box. The other part of my gift, so it was the like second chance drawing that they did and it's a $100 gift box or gift bag. I am not mad at this at all. So you guys know I'm a child goo girl, but there are just times where you need wood needles. And I've never found a set of wool needles, or wood needles, that I am just in love with. Well, these are the, oh, my box got one, okay. The knitters, oh, no, it's the, the lid is asymmetrical. Okay. Uh, the Knitter's Pride Golden Light Set. And these are laminated birch. They are exceptionally smooth. Now, they're, uh, I do like my Knitter's Pride Zing needles. Uh... They're slow compared to like the chow goo and wood is always going to be slow. Oh God, the weight's so good on these. Uh, these are more weighted than the dreams are. They're um, more solid than the dreams are. So I have a feeling I'm going to really, really love these. Oh, we also got a shawl pin in here. How cute. I think that's supposed to be a shawl pin. I'll have to double check the uh, website. But that's so pretty. And then we have a little pouch that has all of our cables and needle stoppers in there. Uh, so, yeah, definitely it's a $100 gift box. Without the shirt, it was a $100 gift box. No, that's the key handle. Oh. No, that's a shawl pin. Anyway. This was an awesome gift to receive. It's one of those things I would never, ever buy for myself. Um, not because I don't like them or anything, but because I would just generally make do with my child goose. But there are times where you just need wood. It You need the drag to prevent things from slipping. Like I got that um, sea silk and uh, Lysol blend yarn a while back. Something like that. You really need wood to grip that kind of yarn. Unless you're real careful. So that was my prize. I am very excited about that. That's a beautiful, beautiful gift. And they were laughing at me. I was like, I never win anything. I mean, I I mean, it, it is an exceptionally rare. I've done, I've won one make-along prize. And that was like a 15 prize thing and was shocked that I won something from that and I won one like 500 subscriber giveaway no two I did win two 500 subscriber giveaways um but yeah like I it is very rare for the amount of things that I enter that I actually win something so I was a little little shocked to see my name pop up on Facebook that I had won something 
Next up, in the same vein of surprise, Doris over at Rose Cottage Crochet. Double checking. Yes. Rose, Rose Cottage Studio. I knew I was going to mess it up. Sent me happy mail out of nowhere. 100% never feel the need to send me anything. But... <laughs> How pretty is that? So this is the ice um, Paris turquoise shades is what it says. It reminds, it reminds me a lot of the Rockstar yarn. So maybe it's Rockstar in Paris. I don't know. No, yarn is Paris. But it does. It reminds me a lot of the Rockstar yarn. And it's that uh, Chainette style yarn. I think this needs to be something like a mantle scarf or something to go over. I've got a fireplace in here and I kind of feel like this needs to be like a mantle scarf or bunting or something to go over that or over my cake wall or something because it just matches my room so well. Go figure that my private play area would be, you know, pink, blue and purple pink, blue, and purple friendly. And also in here, ooh. Okay. Feels like there's something else in there. You hate that when you get like a mailer and you keep going, like you're terrified to throw it away. Oh my goodness, you guys, I am so sorry. You feel like you're afraid to throw things away or like discard them or move them because you feel like there's got to be something else in there because it just always has that weight on like the seam or something. Kind of what's going on here. But she also sent me a hook and stitch marker set from the Bella Coco uh, collections. I'm guessing this one, this one came with one of the magazines, which those are so cute. The patterns in those Bella Coco things, I just, that was one of the few crochet boxes where I'm just like, oh, because the patterns are just so stinking cute. And sweet her, she sent me the card, but then wrote her note on a different card so I can resend this card out. That's something I've done with a couple of the handmade cards and then get chastised. I'm keeping this. This is mine. <laughs> I'm not sending it off. And then we got a pumpkin spice chai, which is one of the very few pumpkin spice things that I love. If you're at Starbucks and get the chai with a pump of the pumpkin spice, it's really good. Really good. I love cinnamon and cloves and nutmeg and stuff, but I'm not a huge fan of like pumpkin spice coffee. And I don't need, you know, pumpkin spice pop tarts and pumpkin spice tortilla chips and pumpkin spice, you know, everything. But I'm not going to lie. Since Mayish, I've been making my wheat-free, sugar-free, pumpkin spice bread pretty much like at least once a month. So now I can like be honest and say, yes, I'm eating pumpkin spice bread for breakfast every day. I'm just having pumpkin spice bread for breakfast. Because it's pumpkin season now. It seems more normal than having it in the middle of July. Which I did. <laughs> I spent July having pumpkin bread for breakfast or for dessert every day. Pumpkin has lots of nutrition in it. <laughs> anyway, up next I did get my Tea Doddles mini maker bag. And I was on the phone with Troy when I got this. Um, he was out of town last week. And I was like, oh my God, it's a peas and carrots bag, but it's purple carrots. <laughs> oh. And the inside fabric is absolutely gorgeous. I might have to see if I can order some yardage of that. I don't know what I'll do with it, but it's just beautiful. Once again, I say it every month. It surprises absolutely nobody. Carrie likes Christy Cook's choice in fabric. 
Our yarn is the Southern Skein Mini uh, Bountiful on the Surrey Fluff Yarn, 100% Surrey Alpaca. And I love those colors. That's just like totally sunset colors. We got a poly keychain with a tassel. I will be putting a vinyl decal on that. I'll cut something out on my Cricut. Because I have a lot of vinyl to use. Uh, our tea this month is a blueberry and aloe herbal tea. And our stitch markers, our maker, oh, that smells really good. I can smell it through the bag all of a sudden. We have a little mini jar there. And then we have carrots with little seeds. Okay. Getting a lot warm. We're like, I think it was 59 when I got up this morning, 58, 59. And the high is like 79, but it's muggy. There's like rain in the area, but nowhere near us. So it's like the humidity is still in the air. And there's no breeze today like there has been. Uh, so the exterior fabric is Veggies by Martha Negley for Free Spirit Fabrics. The interior fabric is fa Fabric is Family Recipe by Vicki York for Camelot Fabrics. So I think I'm going to have to go find some of that. Uh, da -da -da -da. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, there's nothing else extra on here. I covered everything. <laughs> you know, me me actually like getting through something without just Once again, can I just say Carrie lives in many maker bags. <clears throat> okay. Up next is this month's Yearnable subscription. I told you guys, uh, was it last video? That I would continue sharing them as long as like they were like super special or super cool. And because you guys have asked that I continue to share what I'm getting in the Yearnable box. Since this is the box that I'm using to replace where I was using getting the Knit Crate still. So we got this super cute bag. Nitrovert. And I am perfectly happy to just like veg out by myself with some yarn. But willing to, Nitrovert, but willing to discuss yarn. I love it. Love it. All right, I need to pull last month's in here. We got a pumpkin spice bath bomb. And it smells heavenly. I don't frequently use bath bombs. I might might get that out to somebody, but uh, I use Epsom salts and the idea of putting like cinnamon in my tub with what I normally do as a cooling bath. But cutest little thing ever. So this was the picture that she posted as one of the sneak peeks to the yarn, but she turned into a little puzzle. And it came in a little test tube. And then we have this month's yarn. Is that not beautiful? At least I dropped it in the direction of the basket and not my cup of coffee. Look at this speckle. I would love to have a yarn that's just the speckle part. I just think that's so pretty. And the name of this one is Pumpkin Patch. Absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I was telling you guys, it kind of coordinates with last month's. And this was the uh, Born to be Mild. So this is the neutral. I said the one that said, I blah, 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 blah. My mouth cannot keep up with my brain today. 
This is the one where I said it was neutral without being boring. And then it came out to be born to be mild was the... Anyway, I think those are really pretty together. I think an alternated skein pattern with those could be really fun. But I haven't made a decision on these yet. I am just absolutely head over heels with this one. I love that little... The way that the orange is just kind of the pop. And this is so much of a green versus a blue. Mm. Mm. All right. Up next, whip time. So I'm almost done with the first skein of my indoor yarn from Blue Water Yarns, I believe. Because I know I do not have the yarn label down here. That's all I have left of skein number one. So I did start a shawl with this. Once again, it's in a mini maker bag. And this is where we are. So this is the bottom edge on the, the needle. The next skein, I'm going to do a couple rows continuing in the stack, stacking it. I swear words today are just not my friend. I'm going to continue in the stockinette pattern for a few rows when I add in the next ball. And then I'm going to move into an eyelet pattern. So the bottom will be just eyelets. Very excited. Very excited. This has been my bedtime and car project recently. So. And the designer said when we we're talking about um, colors for Dr. Bombay, she's like, and I might have to go dye that. So I'm hoping to see that she posts those in her shop because I will totally buy a Dr. Bombay pattern too. Dr. Bombay, Dr. Bombay. I was listing off all sorts of color combinations for all the characters. And I said, I would buy a set. If you did a full set of the Bewitch cast, I would buy the whole thing. That's one of the few things where I'd be like, I don't care that it cost $150. I want the whole thing. Actually, so the other day I was watching um, Chevy Rell and she was wearing this cute little V-neck sweater or V-back sweater. Can be worn either way. And she's a mini skein for hers. And there are quite a few people who have also, it's kind of designed to, to be a blended sweater pattern. If I think of it, I'll try to, to link a Chevy will be in the description box, but I'll try to link the pattern too. But her latest, where have I been? What have I been working on video? She's wearing this really cute sweater. If, if Blue Water Yarns does do a set, I would probably do that sweater pattern out of the set. <laughs> just saying. It would be my bewitch sweater. And I would be just as happy as a bug in a rug to have my little bewitch sweater. All right, my last whip. <sighs> Whew. Boy, has this been a thing. All right. So... You will have noticed that there are no blocks being shown today. That would be because all 12 of the remaining blocks are now attached in my blanket. So I finished putting this together. Please don't get lipstick on that white yarn. My fall blanket. This was a shock to me that I did not have to make a new square. But somehow I managed to get it to where your eye didn't get like caught. But like there's too much bright yellow in this section. Or there's too much orange over here. Or there's too much chocolate brown down here. There's certain colors on this that just really grab your eye and that bright yellow was very hard to move around the blanket so you're not like clump of yellow. Uh, I will try to remember to lay this out and take a picture and post it in here, but if I don't, don't sue me over it. 
don't yell at me, but there will be one for next week. So I've decided on the border I'm going to do, and I have row one started on the first side. I did a continuous join as you go method. It took me three days to do this, but I will leave the tutorial that I use down below. I did not intend to do a continuous join as you go because the blocks did end in cream, but for some reason, I really liked the way hers looked and thought I'd give that one a shot. So I've done a couple. I, I like continuous join as you go with granny squares. Um, I've had some mixed feelings about how it works in uh, solid squares. And her tutorial, the way she does the cross coming into the, the four-way intersections of your blocks, I really liked. It's very similar to a couple other ones that I've done, but something about the way, either the way she explains it or the way it just worked up with this yarn or something, it worked this time perfectly. And I don't have any bumpies and lumpies that are, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's where I am on it. It was 42 blocks. It is bigger than I thought it was going to be. I probably should have done it five by six instead of six by seven. Not that anybody in my house is going to be complaining that a blanket's too big. Because once again, my husband's a foot taller than I am. So Larch over there is perfectly happy having an extra long blanket. That way he can pull it from chin to toe if he's laying on the sofa. And we tend to lay leaning opposite on the sofa with a blanket across us. And both of us will pull up a little corner on the... So long is actually better in this house. Because I am a blanket hog. And uh, he needs blankets to cover his toes. So anyway, that is my basket of everything. Uh, I still have not found the pattern for these uh, circle squares that is almost identical to this one. I know it's out there. If you go on Ravelry, and I think it's blocks, cir granny, and circle, well, it will pull this pattern up. I've seen it before. Uh, a friend of mine actually sent it to me when she saw it because she's like, isn't that the one you did the pillow in? Because I had kind of texted her what I had done the pillow like. So this pattern is literally identical pretty much to what I did for these. If I can find it, I will eventually link it. If not, I can do a breakdown of how I did this. I know there is a pattern for it, though, out there somewhere. So I, I don't want to step on anybody. Like, if I can give somebody else a spotlight, I would rather do that. But if... We can't find this written pattern. It's on a blog post. I can't remember if she made a pillow or a blanket out of it. But a circle and a square is, uh, I know there's a pattern in one of my stitchinary books that's also very similar. All right. This video should go up on Thursday. So Tuesday would be the charity video talking about Rose and Classy Kim and what they've got going on that we can send stuff to. On Saturday, we'll have another very quick video. And then, hopefully, we'll have a very quick video. And yeah. Oh, mercy me. Yeah, I'm not going to film tomorrow, uh, Saturday's video today. I need to get a little bit more information. Uh, yeah. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful, fantastic week. I hope you are doing fantastic. As always, I love you guys. Please take care of yourselves. And I will see you guys real soon. Bye, guys.